morning. Dexter and I have spent a week on the Jurassic Coast, touring around. We have taken, or we did take quite a lot of video footage where some idiot accidentally deleted it and emptied her recently deleted folder. So goodbye video footage. What I do have left, um, I'm adding to this video. So yeah, there are places we did go. Blue Pool, for instance, was brilliant. There was a nice video there. There was great footage at Swanage. Don't have it anymore. So just enjoy what's left here and I'll chalk it up to experience. We're staying at Golden Cap Holiday Park in Sea Town, close to Bridport, on the west side of the Jurassic Coast. This campsite has a mixture of lodges, statics, and hard standing and electric pitches with hookup. Facilities block. We even have electric charging points for cars. If you're not staying here, there is a large car park. £5 per day. Car park is locked at 8pm, no overnight parking. Good morning. This morning we are going for a walk to Golden Cap and Langdon Hill, determined to find some trig points. Lots of wild garlic, if you like the smell. Unfortunately, I don't like garlic. It doesn't want to pose for us. Bluebells are past their best now, but it must have looked spectacular here earlier on in spring. Oh, you dirt bag. You dirt bag dog. Enough steps up to Golden Cat. Oh, good boy, Dexter. There you go. Hound energy dog bars. Good luck. <coughs> the sheer joy of finding a water trough. Good lad. Do you want to drink?
might be no traffic noise here. But you're certainly not going to get a lion. Walk directly off the campsite down to the beach. That's a bit of an affliction, isn't it? Interesting name. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a monument, a needle, something or other, in the distance. And that's what we're heading for. I love a trig point or a cairn, anything like that. So I'm going to go and see what it is. Hope I can get to it. parked up at Kimmeridge Bay. Access is via a private toll road, which was six pounds per, for my camper van. It's 12 pounds for motorhome for the day. So we're going for a walk up to Clavell Tower. There are public toilets at the car park. So quite steep steps up to the tower if you've got poor mobility. There's a brave chap down there having a swim. Rather him than me. That's a shame. The gate is locked and it's private land. It's a pretty spectacular sight though. Definitely not a place to have dogs off the lead. I don't know whether there's been any coastal erosion recently, but I'm quite surprised just how close to the cliff edge the coastal path is in this part. This was supposed to be a long walk. Well, there are so many huge cracks in the ground close to the cliff edge that I'm abandoning this walk. Especially after the heavy rain last night, I'm frightened of a landslip. We're on the beach at Kimmeridge Bay. Lots of families fossil hunting. now staying on Allwell Holiday Park. They have a restaurant, cafe on site, village shop, toilets, shower block, dishwashing facilities and around the corner behind that window is the laundress. There's a mixture of holiday homes as well as touring pitches. Whilst the park is on a slope itself, they've done very well to level the hard standing pitches. I haven't needed levelling chocks on my pitch. When I pulled into the campsite earlier, there were many, many cars parked in this lay-by opposite. And this is the starting and end point to go to Old Harry Rocks. Mm -hmm. Sea 
from both sides. On we go, let's go. Good boy. Little snippet of information about me. I am a farmer's wife. We have a herd of cattle at home. I walk through our cattle daily. Obviously when I'm not on holiday. But I don't like walking through cattle I don't know. Especially not with my dog. I'm taking the long way around. Good cow cow. Good girl. Good boy. If you squint, maybe you can see that very faint rainbow. And where the boat is off to. I'm far too excited. I love a trig. Our first sighting of old Harry Rocks coming into view now. It's a daring place for a picnic. Popular spot for people to come for selfies. Views over Studland. And my doggy's like a meerkat because he's just seen a partridge take off. I was going to show you the obelisk that we've just walked up to, but Dexter decided to show you something far more entertaining. Oh, now he's on a mission. I spy my camper in the distance while contemplating going down all the steps that we came up. Good morning, another day, another walk. This time we're walking from Allwell to Agumton Rock, also known as the Devil's Anvil, the coffee of Dublin Hall. Dexter is as keen as ever. We've come out on a golf course. I can see our style over there in the distance. I think this is the way. Puddle stock. Oh, and a wallow. such a surreal sight to see this great big rock sitting on its own amongst such flat and open moorland. Legend has it that the devil threw the rock here from the Isle of Wight. Remarkable. Hello, <laughs> good lad. What a special place. It's just a really, I don't know, just a strange feeling, but a nice feeling. Calm, peaceful. You just want to get going, don't you? Good boy. <laughs> Living his best life. It's a very wild animal at this natural watering hole.
whilst I've been very lucky with the weather so far. It's just proof that it's not always sunshine. Sometimes I do get wet. One of us is going to sleep well. Good morning, another day, another walk. We're going back to Corfe Castle today, but from the other direction. We're walking the Purbeck Ridge um, from Ulwell to Corfe. It's three and a half miles in one way. I think we're going to have a bite to eat and a drink and then come back. First sight of the castle. I know we need technology, but that kind of ruins the view on the way down to the castle. Nearly there now. It's beautiful, even Dexter agrees. Uh, if you've gotten this far, brilliant, thanks. If you'd like to give us a thumbs up, that'd be brilliant too. And I've learned quite a few valuable lessons on what not to do and what I need to do moving forwards to capture some more adventures. Thanks for watching.